Hi there, Capricorn. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 19th of December. This week begins with Mercury in your sign, along with the tiny but influential Pluto. But Mercury retraces his steps from Monday. This is very rare because this is the fourth retrograde of the year. Usually there's just three. This points towards something that you would like to get done, perhaps stalling a little bit, between now and the early part of January. But if something does not go forwards at the pace you would like, try to be philosophical about it, because believe me, something else is absolutely going to roar forwards. And that's because Mars has moved into an incredible location for you, and from Wednesday is joined by the Sun, which returns back to your sign for the first time in 11 months. This connection is really very potent. If you think about it, the Sun is the heart of all our energy. It's our life support system. But Mars is about us, the ego. It's about who we are. It's about our need to express ourselves. It's also about our need to have instant gratification. And Mars has moved into an area which can see you quite f uh, more physical, wanting to move around a bit more, to engage with other people, have lots of chats. And with the sun giving you that natural energy, the two together can see you as a force of nature all over the Christmas holidays. It just be, could be that one strand, as I say, that you thought you would really like to see go forward might slow down, but actually there may be a bigger reason for this that will become clearer to you as you emerge into 2017. Now, the other thing that happens this week, which is truly remarkable, is that Jupiter, the planet of growth, forges a beautiful link to Venus, the planet of attraction. Venus is in the part of your scope that's to do with all the good things in life. There could be a last-minute gift for you, Capricorn, which is going to absolutely thrill you. This could be a very generous gesture by someone, it may not be who you think is going to be like this, but when you receive this, it can really lift your spirits. You too could also be very, very generous. It is true, however, that on Christmas Day itself, the moon for you is in the most sociable part of your scope. Wonderful! And that's something to embrace too. This is going to help you to mix with different people, as will Mars in your third solar house. And really, you can take a lead and be someone who really motivates everyone else to enjoy the occasion to the maximum. Now, there is a combination between Jupiter and Uranus still, and that suggests that when it comes to different generations in the family and so on, there could be some interesting encounters and conversations, but not necessarily ones that are going to be bad in any way. And with Saturn, your uh, ruler, anchoring both Uranus and also Jupiter, I just feel that some of the things that have been quite a challenge in 2016, at a more psychological level, they may still be lingering around a little bit in the background, but there's so much here for you to really relish, take hold of, and really have a wonderful Christmas time. I'd like to wish you exactly that. Thank you for joining me. Good luck. And goodbye for now.